All right, so this video we're going to talk about the uh, UCS command and how we can use that to create a quick plan and profile set. Um, so here I've got a basic template in a layout tab. Everything's set up for 11 by 17. Uh, I do have some stuff going on in my model space here, so let me show you that. Here I've got some basic pipe networks and I've got a couple of profiles. They're not pretty but it's enough to rough something out. So I'm gonna go into this layout tab and uh, first thing I'm gonna do is create a rectangle. Uh, I wanna do this with the rectangle command because that creates a closed polyline for me automatically. I've got my O snaps turned on so I can just click corner to corner here on the top half of my sheet. And I did make that in green so you can see it a little bit better. I highlighted it or I selected it and I'm going to just do a control C to copy. I could also right click and go to the clipboard and copy. Um, but I just uh, did a control C. I like the window shortcuts. Control C to copy it. Now I'm going to go into model space and I'm going to paste with a control V or I can right click and find the clipboard and paste. Uh, and it attaches to the cursor and you have to click somewhere to place it. It's gonna be very small because this thing measures uh, 11 feet in this case by 17, or I should say five and a half or something like that by 17. And in that, in our drawing scale here, this is uh, a very small rectangle. So what I wanna do is select that rectangle in model space and I want to scale it up. I want to make it bigger. I can type the scale command and hit enter and it's telling me to specify a base point so I'm going to click on the bottom corner here as a base point. Now it's asking me for a scale factor. I want that to be some standard scale factor uh, that you would see on an engineer scale. So I'm going to try 40 scale for example, and you might have to do a little trial and error, whether that's 30 scale or 50 scale or 100 scale, it depends on uh, your site. But I'm gonna try 40, and that's gonna make my rectangle much larger. Now this rectangle represents one half of this sheet. And uh, even though I scaled it up, it maintained the same ratio of side lengths. And I can now take this rectangle and I'm gonna move it in my drawing and I'm just gonna see what it looks like here. So here I've got a real basic pipe network. My rectangle fits around a good portion of that. Uh, that is something I might wanna see in my plan view. Uh, so I'll make a plan view of what I see inside this rectangle. Uh, to do that, I'm going to type view and hit enter. That brings up the view window manager or the view manager window. Uh, I do have a couple of views in here already, but I'm going to create a new view. I'm going to name it something that makes sense. Something on the east side of my site here. And then I have to click on define window. I have to click this radio button. And it's telling me uh, to click with the cursor, where do I want this view to be? And so I just did endpoint to endpoint, and I'll hit enter to select that. Uh, OK, and OK again. So I've created a plan view of what I see right here. I'm going to go to my layout tab and create a model view window. So I'll use the M view command and hit enter. This will be the plan view, so corner to corner on that rectangle. And it's going to it's going to look a little wonky at first, and your text is going to be huge. Uh, to get inside this model view window, I have to double click, and I can type the regen command at any time to try to fix some text as I zoom in here. But this is the rectangle that we put in model space. I'll clean that up a little bit. So here again is the rectangle. 
And I could try to zoom and pan and get it to fit my uh, sheet, but it's not going to fit perfectly, and I really do want it to fit. So what I'm going to do is, uh, and I double-clicked outside of the MV window to, uh, to get back to paper space, or if you're zoomed in too far, uh, you can always type PS for paper space and hit enter. Anyways, uh, I'm going to go back into the view command, V-I-E-W. I'm going to select the view I created, this east site. I'm going to set current and apply. And then I have to click on the M view window. And I can hit OK. And you see the, the window jumped in the background. And now it is everywhere uh, that I saw inside that view. It is it has put that view in this window and it fits perfectly because it is the same uh, proportion rectangle. So I'm in model space right now. You can see the, the window is still highlighted. If I scroll with my mouse or click around, I'm going to change what I see here. So I have to double click outside that MV window or type PS for paper space. And now it's safe to zoom and pan. Uh, if you like how that looks in your view, you can click on the viewport and right click, go down to display locked and select yes. Now when I highlight or select this box, uh, I'm, I'm able to select things in model space, but I cannot change what I'm seeing. This, this viewport is locked uh, in terms of what I see in model space. So double clicking to get back out. I need to put uh, a profile down here in the bottom half of my plan and profile sheet. So again, we need a rectangle. Uh, although we've already created a rectangle, and we've already put this rectangle in model space and scaled it up, I can select that rectangle. Again, Control C to copy it, and Control V to paste it. It's already scaled up, so it's going to match perfectly. And I'm going to move that rectangle to somewhere over my profile. Again, real quick and dirty. I know the profile is ugly, but same process. I'm going to go into the view command, create a new view. I'll call it ugly profile. And I have to define the window. So I'm going to click that radio button corner to corner and enter to accept it. OK and OK. Now I'll go back to my layout tab. Uh, first, I have to create a model view window, so M view, and enter, corner to corner on the bottom of my sheet. And here is my second model view, and I'm going to put this portion of a profile in the window. Uh, for the purposes of this video, I know it doesn't match what you're seeing in the plan view, but uh, I didn't have that, that profile created yet. So anyways, I'm going to go back into the view command and hit enter. This time I'm going to select ugly profile that I just created, set current and apply, click on the model view window, and it puts it in place. Now remember, you are in model space here, and I know the text is wonky, so type regen, and it will put your text back where it needs to be, also changing any line type errors that you might have seen double click outside or type PS to get back to paper space and then if you like what you see you can lock your display. I highlighted it first, selected it first, then right click and go to display locked for yes. Okay so that was the easy layout. Uh, let me delete this one here. So let's say you have to change your orientation to get a pipe network uh, to show up right on your plan and profile sheet. So, for example, if I take this rectangle and I paste it, let's say I want to show this portion of my pipe network. Uh, and we'll do it at the same scale. Uh, maybe you have to change your scale, but I'll keep it at the same scale. I'm going to move this rectangle kind of in the vicinity of where I want my plan and profile, I'll put it right here. Now I'm going to rotate this rectangle around a base point. 
until I get it somewhere close to something I want to see in my plan view. So really what I want to do is I want to rotate the entire screen without changing its orientation with uh, my geolocation. So I just want to rotate the screen is what, I'm, what I want to do. And for that, I want to actually change the coordinate system of my screen. That sounds very complicated, but it's an easy command. It's just UCS. So I'm going to type UCS and hit enter. Now it's asking me, what is the origin of my new orientation for the screen or my zero zero? Uh, in this case, it's going to be the corner of this rectangle. And I'm just going to click on that. Now it's asking me to specify a point on the X axis. So this is going to be somewhere on the uh, long side of your rectangle. And this part is important here. If you have your contours turned on or if you have a surface in here, uh, make sure you are not snapping to a contour line. Uh, that's going to that's gonna really screw up the orientation of the screen. I put my surface behind the image that you're seeing, so it's not going to interfere with this. I also have the nearest O snap turned on. Uh, that lets me snap right to this line. But again, don't snap to a contour line. So I'm going to snap to a point on the x-axis just by clicking on it. Then it's asking for a point on the xy plane. Uh, I find it works fine to click on the y-axis. And that should change the orientation here. So now if I type the plan command, P-L-A-N, I want the current UCS, so I'll hit enter. And notice it did completely change the orientation of my screen. So now this rectangle is orthometric and I can type U and enter to create a new view. I'll type ortho just for this video. I can define the window and hit enter. So here is my new view that I just created, ortho. I can click OK. I'll go to my second layout. I'll type M view to create an M view window. And view again. So I can select ortho, set current and apply. Click on the M view window and OK. Now remember, I'm still in model space. I can type regen. And that fixes my text, but don't zoom or pan until you uh, deselect that M view window or type PS to get back to paper space. Then you can select the window, right click, display locked, turn that to yes. Now if I highlight or select that window, I can't screw up the view. Uh, same process to go back and put a... Uh, a profile together to match on that second sheet but notice my orientation on the screen is still sideways so what I want to do if I want to go back to the plan view uh, with a north up orientation I can type plan and go to the world orientation that will put it in a north up orientation but really if I want to be thorough I could go back and uh, specify the original UCS. But again, that to get back to your north up orientation, type the word plan and hit enter, and you want the world orientation. So that's a north up orientation. Should bring you back home every time. So I hope that helps. Uh, we'll catch you in the next video.